What's going on guys and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are doing well on this Monday afternoon. As you can see by the title, this could be a bit of a different video, but a lot of you have been asking me to do this. So make sure to get your thoughts down in the comments below and leave all your ratings below. It would be interesting to see uh, everyone's opinion. Of course, this is all about opinions. I'm just going to give my thoughts a quick overview of every single player so far this season. Not doing any academy players because I haven't been to any Trekker Tree trophy games or anything like that just players that have appeared in the first team this season but of course if you do enjoy please leave a like do hit the uh, red subscribe button thank you everyone for 4600 subscribers now only less than 400 away from 5k so keep smashing it and yeah like i said leave your thoughts in the comments but yeah starting off i'm going to do position by position starting from goalkeeper uh start off with anzi Akola. of course he hasn't really made many appearances this season and the appearances he has made, he hasn't been that good. Uh, of course, this, you know, he's been out with a lot of injuries over the last few years. And it's, of course, when he has played, he hasn't played a lot. Uh, so I'm going to give him a 5 out of 10. Uh, so, yeah, leave leave your thoughts, like I said. Next one, James Belshaw, of course, signed him on a free in the summer. And he's been amazing. You know, there's so many words to describe how good he's been for us this season. You know, 16 clean sheets in the league. And yeah, he's been a mainstay and what a signing he's been. And yeah, for me, it's got to be a 10 out of 10. Uh, next, going into defence, Junior Brown. Again, we signed him in the season. Hasn't really played a lot. Was only meant to be back up anyway. But he's only made six appearances. He's done okay when he's played. Other times, you know, he's you know he's getting on a bit. So he has, you know, been ran past a few times. But he's done all right. I'm going to give him a 5 out of 10. Uh, next up is Nick Anderson. Of course, he's been pretty much a mainstay for most of the season, really. He's had a poor start, a slow start like everyone else, really. But once he's found his feet, he's, he's been very good, very solid left back. Pretty good defensively, decent going forward. So I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 for Anderson. Next up, Kian Harry's played 19 games. Uh, was hoping to see a lot more well, and a lot better of him, really. He's... He's had a few good games, but you can probably count on one hand how many good games he has had. And he had he has had a lot of shockers as well, to be honest. So for me, I'm going to give him a four and a half out of ten. If you think I'm being too harsh, then let me know in the comments. Uh, next up, Kilgore only played 13 games this season, of course. Had a small injury at the start and then has, of course, been out for a long period of time with another injury. But he, he, again, he's done all right uh, first part of the season. Uh, only played 13 games, so I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10. Pretty solid for me. Uh, next up, Trevor Clark. Again, was interested to see how many games he would play this season. Uh, but he's only played 7 in all competitions. Of course, he's been injured. He's had suspensions. Uh, but when he has played again, he's done... Uh, fairly well, so I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10 as well. Next up, Luca Hall, of course, his breakthrough season at the club. Been at Rovers for quite a long time as well. And yeah, Barton sort of eased him in this season. And for me, he's just been class, really. You know, going forward, he's improved. Defensively, he's improved throughout the season. And yeah, for me, I'm going to give Luca a 9 out of 10. Next up, Conley, of course, brought him in January, played 23 games. Of course, kept 11 clean sheets in that time and Rovers winning 15 games. And he's just been class, you know, the composure, defensively, everything you need in a in a centre-back. And yeah, he's been class, so a 10 out of 10 for me. Next up, again, another player that's on loan, Connor Taylor. Again, been class, played 44 games, grabbed a few goals along the way as well. And yeah, been in that. Defence, especially in the second part of the season, that's done really, really well. But for me, he's been class all season, to be honest. And yeah, 10 out of 10, easily. Going into the midfield, Glenn Whelan, of course, mainly brought him in for experience in the summer. Played 32 times, only the 14 starts. But like I said, it's mainly for his game management, his experience to help. A lot of the young players we do have, you know, we do have quite a, a young squad at uh, Ravers and yeah he's he's been very good really I'm I'm going to give him an 8 out of 10 he's done his bit and like I said very very good experience for the young players at the club next up Paul Coots again a slow start but played 42 games and really as the season has gone on he's got even better and better with each game to be honest again game management experience composure passing range seeing the game out so for me it's got to be a 10 out of 10 uh, next up is Grant. Of course, he's played most of his 
games in defence as either as a wing back or a left back, but I'm, I've just got him as a midfielder here. Uh, two goals, three assists, and yeah, he's done class to be fair. Of course, he's only played 20 games. He's had quite a few niggling injuries throughout the season, but for me, whenever he's played, you know, he's played right back, left back, left wing back. He's played everywhere, but for me, I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. He's been class to be honest, and hopefully he can stay more fit next season, hopefully. Uh, next up, Anthony Evans, just been absolutely class, really. Signed him on a free, uh, pretty much his breakout season in his career. Been absolutely amazing. Uh, nine goals, 11 assists in all competitions. And yeah, has to be a 10, just class. Next up, Elliot Anderson, of course, one of our January signings in our loan from Newcastle. Didn't really know much about him, but a lot of the Newcastle journalists, as we've seen, were speaking highly of him. And yeah, been class, really. 19 games played, 18 starts, 6 goals, 3 assists, and it has to be a 10. Just unbelievable. He's going to have a very good career, hopefully, just quality. Uh, next up is Nicholson. This is a hard one. For me, it's... it's Definitely been an underwhelming considering, you know, expectation. I think a lot of us had a lot of expectation and high expectation of Nicholson for what he'd done last season. But he's still been all right. Played 37, uh, six goals, four assists. I'm going to six and a half. I just expected more. Again, let me know if you think I'm being harsh. Uh, next up, Harry Anderson, the Rhino, basically played everywhere this season. Right wing back, right back, left back, left wing back, right mid, right wing left wing he's played everywhere but for me he's been class he's done a job wherever he's asked for always hard work always gives a hundred percent and yeah i'm gonna give him a nine and a half out of ten he's been class to be honest next up luke thomas again uh played 30 games one goal which come in the efl trophy five assists in all competitions again expectation wise it's, it's been underwhelming he's done a lot better as of in the last sort of few months, mainly off the bench. I'm going to give him a five and a half out of ten. I just think, of of course, we expect a lot more. But hopefully see him more next season. Of course, Barton does want to see him uh, stay permanently at the club. Next up, going into strikers, got Leon Clark. I'm going to give him a six. Uh, didn't really expect too much from him is because of his age. He's done it elsewhere, but he's whenever he's played, which obviously hasn't been a lot due to injury, but he's he's been decent for us, really. So a six. Ryan Loft, again, he's only made one start since coming to the club. Been injuries, etc. And been hard to get in the team with our good form. I give him a five and, five and a half out of ten. But hopefully see more of him next season once he gets a full pre-season under Barton. Uh, next up, Saunders. Again, done pretty well when he has played. Affected a lot of games. Again, he's been in, injured in and out of the team. But I'm going to give him a six and a half out of ten. Uh, Sion Spence, uh, again, another loney. Uh, hasn't really played that much. He started a few games, but he's mainly been used as a sub, of course. The moment in the FA Cup where he got two off uh, off the bench and got that winner and obviously got the goal at Walsall as well. And I need him a seven because of the impact he has had off the bench. He's done very, very well. Uh, next up, Pittman, of course, he's been on loan the second part of the season, but when he was at Rovers, played 16 games, 8 starts, 4 goals. He's done pretty well, to be honest. Of course, we did it again in the summer. A lot of us expected more of him, uh, but I, I only him a 6.5 out of 10. He still impacted quite a lot of games, but obviously not the way we, we wanted and expected. And the last one, Aaron Collins, uh, I'm going to give him an 8.5 out of 10, 13 goals in all competitions, the best career uh, goals up to date. And yeah, you know, he had a slow start, but we've, we've seen the quality and the goals and the amount of winners and great finishes we've seen. So yeah, 8.5 out of 10 for me. But yeah, that is going to be the end of the video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Smash the like, leave any comments of any other videos you want to see as well. I'm happy to do a lot of different content on the channel. But yeah, smash the like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Up the gas.